Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to do a manual install of OpenStack. And this is gonna be a video in multiple parts that I'm gonna publish later on. And I will link to the playlist down below and also to the script I'm using today. Okay, let's continue. Let's install the image registry. And the image registry is called Glance. But as I said before, I want to use Ceph as a backend storage. And in order to do that, we need to install Ceph Common and RBD for Python on this controller unit. So let's get that up and running here. Next up, we install the Glance service and it's just called Glance. So let's install that. It should not take that long, but it has a bunch of these questions. Don't set up the database. We can set up the RabbitMQ, so let's supply the uh, IP address here and then the username, OpenStack, OpenStock. Important to write the right name, of course. Set this up. And 162, 68, 6, 80, 78, OpenStack, Pretty. No, no. So if you write the wrong one, then that will be saved in your file. It's not the end of the world. You can change it later. And we could have just added that connection into the configuration file later. Um, I have tried to run the configuration and do all the configuration steps during the install, uh, but the database connection was really hard to set up and if you change that up it will actually remember all those settings and it will not work so then you are stuck in a state where you can't install anything because you have a failing connection um, locally so it's better to set up the database um, manually and then add the software manually and as we need to set up a different user for each of these different services, we can do it manually e more easily. So now that the software is installed, we can go in and create our database. So into the MySQL database, we add the different privileges here. So we create the database and we created glance user that is identified by QWERTY. And next up, we need to create a glance OpenStack user in Keystone. So um, let's see here. Oh, we need to have these exported, of course, so we can run this command. We did a uh, check out before, or that we logged out, so all those are missing. So now we can run this again, and we supply the password. So now we have a user for Glance, and we need to add the role of admin to that user in the service project. So we are able to create services for it. And then we create a service, OpenStack image, and call that image. These images are pretty much uh, standard image software. So here we create the public, internal, and admin uh, interface uh, endpoint for this specific service and set it up in Glance so it can keep track on the authentication bit there. And or in Keystone, so it can keep track of the authentication. Uh, so Glance uh, is storing all the images you need in your system. So if you, for instance, have a Debian image, then you can uh, create a volume of that and run that in an instance from that image. But an image is just a, sol a sol solid state where we can't really change an image. It's this is the image and then you create something from that image. You can start a bunch of servers from a specific image, have different volumes that you make snapshots on and so on. So this is a repository for all your images. Uh, we need to connect our database to it, of course. So we look for the connection here and we put in the Glance connection here. So the user Glance, QWERTY, IP address and the Glance database. And then we need to look for the Keystone auth token. Let's find that. 
and down here I want to replace all of this authentication settings with my own settings. So I will remove all of these. So let's copy paste my settings here and I will talk a little bit about them. So these are the settings. We want an authentication URI to the specific URI that we have for Keystone. Then the same auth URI goes to that. Memcache server is the same IP in the port 11211. Uh, auth type is password, project domain name default, user domain name default, project name service, and then we have the username plans and the password query. So this is what is required to connect to Keystone and get an auth token. And then we're going to go to the paste deploy uh, segment in this file. Um, so this is the deployment flavor of an application pipeline. And here we set the flavor to Keystone. And then we want to go to the Glance store down here. And this is also part where I want to set, put in my own settings here. Um, and then I put in my own configuration here for the Glance store. So the stores should be RBD, the default store should be RBD. So you can have multiple stores if you want, but I just have RBD as an example. The RBD store pool should be images and that's in Ceph. And then you have a store user called Glance. And this is my Ceph configuration and a chunk size of eight. So that's how large each of the sizes in uh, our store should be. We can also look for the transport URL. Uh, transport URL equals. Uh, so we can see that the OpenStack uh, user is correctly set up with Rabbit here. And it seems to be correct. And next up, I will create a Glance registry. Uh, configuration. I'm not sure if this is used at all by the service, but I used to create this and documentation says that this should be here. This could be an older thing that the documentation uh, hasn't updated yet or something like that, because I haven't really seen any mention of it in, in the services when they start and so on. But I put in that configuration as well. And then I do a manage, uh, Glance Manage DB Sync. So we'll sync up the Glance database and put in all the uh, required uh, data into it. So now you see we do an upgrade from Pike to Queens, Queens to Rocky and so on, all the way to Wallaby. So we have all the migration paths. Now I need to switch over to my Ceph single, which it's the, this uh, Ceph store here. We need to create a bunch of pools here. So let's go here and create the pools volumes, images, backups and VMS. My password here for sudo and it will go through and create all of those pools. And we can see here that they pop up in the Ceph cluster and currently uh, the page st status is unknown and so on. Um, but because this uh, is a single host installation, we can't have three copies of it. We only can have one copy. So I can use this volumes size one, set all these kind of pools to one. Um, you need to change the setting in the uh, single pool as well in order to be able to do this. And you need to say, yes, I really, really want to, I really, really mean this. Uh, so this is not a good setup, you shouldn't do this, but as a testing and keeping the memory put, foot, footprint low, I just want one server. So if I run that, all these should be active and clean, and I can use them. And then I want to initialize them as RBD uh, instances. So the pool, init, volumes, images, and backups, and VMS um, should be initialized at RBD pools. So we can see here that they it's initializing them each, each of them into RBD. So we can use them for our purpose. So if we go back to this and then we want to configure Ceph, so let's do that. Uh, put in the password here and then I want to copy some configuration here. So the first part here is from the Ceph node 
uh, saying that we have one member, one host, and the watch network and the FSID that we're using and so on. Then extra, we add this client information for RBD cache, cache walk, uh, right through until flush, a specific admin socket, uh, log file, and RBD current management ops 20. So we, and all this is mentioned in this uh, little guide here where how to set up these different things and it also mentions how to create keys for glance cinder, cinder and cinder backup and these keys is what i will use next here so if we go back here i can copy in the glance keyring so ceph client glance keyring and what i created as a glance keyring was that keying material and then i need the glance service to be able to um, uh, read that specific keyring, so I change owner and group for that. Then I will restart the Glance API and uh, enable the API, so it will start on boot. Now we want to test this, put an image into it. So I will download this uh, Zeros image, it's a very small OS, 12 megabytes. But they suggest when you're running QMU and inside of Ceph that you should store raw images because that is better performance. So you have this QME you image convert with the format of uh, QCOW2, which is the image format, and then the output format should be raw, then image to raw. So that will create a raw file instead. And then I can create an image on OpenStack. So I take OpenStack, image, create, name it Churros. The file is Churros uh, disk raw. And then the disk format is raw, container format bare, and it should be a public image so anyone can use this if they want to create new instances. Yeah, and now we have the admin URL again. So let's put in environment variables here and then try that again, like that. So we should put in a new uh, image into our store. There we have it. And then we can run the OpenStack image list, so we can actually list this image and see that we have a limit uh, image active here. So that should be stored in our store. If we go back here to our Ceph cluster, we see that we have some kind of activity here to our Ceph cluster. So far, we haven't stored anything, but I will wait a minute and see when it actually has stored that image into Ceph. So now we can see that we have saved 39.2 megabytes into Ceph, so that's the image that we have stored there. So now we know that Glance is connected to Ceph and that we can store images in Glance uh, with our Ceph backend. This was what I wanted to show for you today. I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you have an OpenStack uh, implementation running already, leave a comment in the comment section down below and especially if there is a specific service that you feel is more complicated and something that you can't really wrap your head around and you want me to dig deeper into that service then leave a comment about that in the comment section as well if you haven't subscribed yet please do that if you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and colleagues and i really hope to see you in the next video